So we've seen we can create derived classes, and they inherit attributes from their base class. We can create another derived class. We'll make a black bear. And we can add attributes to our derived classes. So we'll give the black bear a climb tree method and a chase method. Here's what the black bear code looks like. Its base class is bear. It's got two additional methods defined, the climb tree method and the chase method. And in the chase method, we use climb tree. We also use eat. Since black bear doesn't define eat, it will inherit the eat method from the base class, and it will be using the bear's eat method. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So let's see how that works. We create our human victim, Dave, and we'll put him up the tree. Then we'll create a black bear, and we'll have Yogi chase our victim. We see that Yogi can climb the tree and eat the victim. If we create a grizzly bear and have the grizzly bear try to chase Dave, well, we have not defined a chase attribute for the grizzly bear. And it doesn't inherit it from black bear since its base class is bear. It's not a subclass of black bear. 